Muhammad is with us in Chicago. Hi, Muhammad. How are you? I'm good, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve, sir. How can I help? All right. So a little bit of backstory. I'm 16, and I've worked all summer uh, to you know to try to buy a car that I've always wanted. I would be paying in uh, you know all cash. And I wanted to ask if I should be slapped for having such a dumb idea to spend every penny of penny I've got, or I should save it for something else, or uh, put it maybe in a Roth. I, I just want to know, you know, where, where where I should go with this. How much money are we talking about? Um, about fifteen or sixteen thousand. Good for you. Very well done. Thank you. Thank you. That's a very nice car for sixteen years old. Yeah, um, I've I've worked a lot. You know, I don't think I've gone like a day. Mm-hmm. Sounds cheesy, or no, but I don't think I've gone like a day in like three or four years without just thinking about it and how, yeah. how great it would be. But so, what's the dream car? It's a uh, BMW M3. It's an E46 one. So, okay. And how are you going to maintain that puppy? Because your maintenance on that's pretty serious. Yeah, uh, c- continuing to work. You know, I will, uh, what I hear from other owners is that costs about on average fifteen hundred to two thousand um, a year to just keep it in good shape and maintain it. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'm you know I'm thankful that my job right now um, can pay me enough to to, you know, continue to fund it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you picked out a very cool car, no question about it, <laughs> and way cool for 16 years old, no question. So it's a <laughs> fabulous automobile. It really is. Uh, it typically is going to be a car, though, by someone who is, has a, uh, a really, really good income, and the $1,500 to keep it running every year is a minor part of their world instead of like 100% of your income, you know? It's, uh, 1500 I, bucks I is a big part of your world a year. It's not 100% of your income, but, I mean, it's a big part of your world at 16 years old. And, it, you know, I'm more concerned about that ongoing maintenance cost of this thing than I am the actual purchase. Um, well, I, I, I did the math, and I make about, uh, you know, 18000 a year right now. That really doesn't change it, dude. I was going to say, yeah. It doesn't change it. I mean, a $1,500 maintenance fee for, you know, to keep a car running, and that's if everything goes pretty good. You can drop five grand in it pretty quick on a Beamer. And, again, the car you're talking about is a beast of a car. It's a wonderful mm-hmm. car. I'm a car guy. I get why you'd want it. The And, and if you want to spend $15,000 on a car and you worked and saved up $15,000 and you do it, I, you know, I might say, well, I might spend ten and keep five in the bank. That kind of runs through my head. But, uh, but aside from that, that doesn't bother me near as much as you're signing up for a problem child as far as maintenance goes. I mean, that's what you're signing up for. That bothers me. So as long as you know what you're getting into and you're willing to take it on, uh, but you may look up one day and go, I wish I'd have known this car. And which time you sell the car, okay? Uh, don't let your dream turn into a nightmare. So buy it, and if you like it, drive it a while. And if it starts to be a, you know, a drain on the old wallet, and it's more, you know, you just, like, every time I look up, I'm going to write checks for this thing, which is true of a car of that type. You are going to write some checks for, you know, a, a car of that type. No question about it. And um, so, I mean, 1500 is the average. You could write 5000 or you could write 500 it's not going to be 1500 It's not. That's not what it's going to work out to be. So be ready. That's what's really going to happen. Uh, and if it gets to be a burden, turn around and sell the stupid thing. You don't have any debt on it. You're paying cash for it. It's what your dream was. You work for it. Ring the bell. Hit the goal. Do it. If it doesn't work out, sell it. But be emotionally ready to sell it if it becomes a burden. Because I don't think that writing those maintenance checks is going to be as fun or as easy as you're acting like it's going to be. That's my opinion. I think I'd probably go ahead and do it, though. You work for it. You got the money. Pay cash for it. Do it. Ding, ding. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show.